Remember me? Hey. A little older. Huh? Just hours north in Florida, a woman has come to revisit some dear old friends. <laughs> Are you smiling? I'm smiling. I'm so happy to see you. Chimpanzees have provided us with so much in this world, so much knowledge about ourselves, about our social lives, about our dispositions. This is the story of three chimpanzees, a female named Swing, a young male named Sparky, six-year-old doll, and the woman whose life they would change forever. Linda Kobner was a 23-year-old graduate student when she was asked to participate in a bold new project. A hepatitis vaccine had been found and certain chimps were no longer needed. Would they be capable of a normal existence after life in the lab? On a January morning, a small group of chimpanzees caught their first glimpse of the sun in over six years. They were terrified to get out of the security of that transfer cage, whether it was afraid to step on the grass, they hadn't been on anything but hard bars for years, or just the feel of the wind and the sun, and they just huddled in the doorways and wouldn't come out. Over time, we coaxed them, and uh, doll was right up a tree. But some of the others had never tasted any kind of freedom since they were infants riding on their mother's back. And they had been in these little boxes for years and years. For the next four years, Linda spent every day with the chimps, watching over them, observing their journey back to wholeness. It was a grand experiment. No one knew whether it would work, but it did. Swing. Good girl. Good girl, isn't she? You're a good girl. 25 years later, Linda's come back for a long-awaited visit. A few of her old friends still remain. Uh, girl. This is a good girl. Not quite the little babies that you left. No. Remember me? Doll's making her smile too. <laughs> I wonder if they remember everything that I remember about our relationships. Doll, come here. Oh, well, come on, let's get in the it's been 18 years since Linda has had any contact with Doll and Swing face to face. It's been so long. There's no telling how they'll react. Oh, you look great. Even her old friends are now wild animals. Oh, yeah. Do you remember me? Good girl. Hey. Remember me? <laughs> oh, yes. Who's that? Huh? Swing. Oh, Who's that? Swing. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Be quick. Oh, yeah. That's good, doll. Oh, doll. These chimpanzees have taught me about resilience. Uh, all of these have gone through such tremendous adversity, and yet they're forgiving and they're whole again. Good girl. I guess if you remember me, you remember a lot of things, don't you? Back to Africa, in the lab. Right? When we came down here, remember when you got so sick? 
Yeah, and you let me carry you off the island. It's good you got better. It's good you've had a good life here. I don't think Lion Country even knew it when it started, but it, it has provided wonderful sanctuary for these chimpanzees. Over 30 chimpanzees have found their way to this refuge in southern Florida. Each chimp arrived with a history. Some were once pets, but discarded when they grew too strong to handle. Others were research chimps. A female named Inky was crippled during polio trials. They all bear the scars of the past, but here they've been given the chance to live out their days with others of their kind. Oh, look at my girl. <laughs> You're your own girl. Inspired by the success of Doll and Swing, Linda is determined to provide homes for other chimpanzees in need. My dream is to replicate, even on a grander scale, what we were able to do for the chimps that came to Lion Country with us. And I just hope that this is a model and that we can give them the respect and the freedom to live out their lives, at least together. It's important not just for me, but it's important for all of us as a species to realize that all animals are individuals and they have feelings and thoughts and they suffer the pain and the joy that we do. And they're entitled and deserve an opportunity.